Colts up 7-3 second quarter, but the Colts still seem a little off. To Marvin Harrison and, yeah, not quite. Later, Peyton Manning still same score. Five minutes left in the half. Picked off by Rasheen Mathis. Boy, they have good defensive backs, the Jaguars. Gone! 22, two career interceptions. This one a touchdown, and the Jags lead 10-7. Now, play action. Manning to Harrison. How many times have you seen them connect, hmm. Tom, but not here? Yeah, timing, just a little bit off, boom. Score 14-10, the Colts. Late third quarter, Fred Taylor stacked up. Then, no, he's not. Then back toward the middle. Then look at David Garrard get out there and try to make a play, but... And Taylor keeps churning. Good block by the quarterback, but Fred Taylor has run like this his entire career every single time he touches the football. 26 carries, 121 yards for Taylor. Now Maurice Jones drew. He's in. He had 19 for 107. So neither back, I think, averaging three yards a carry going in, and they each had 100 yards. Now, after Jacksonville settles for a field goal deep to go up only by 6, 20 to 14, Manning to Dallas Clark, drilled by Drayton Florence. Clark. Gone. You know, grab that uh, hamstring. It looked like the hamstring area. Don't want to guess at it, but uh, unfortunate. On a play they had to have on fourth and two, they go 27 yards to Marvin Harrison. Colts staying alive. Manning to Reggie Wayne. And now you wonder, Jack Del Rio decided we're going to kick a field goal, not try to go for a touchdown. And it was set up perfectly for the Colts to win the game. And Joseph, live and let it die, goes in from two out, 21-20. But the Jags have a chance. Josh Scobie hoping for a chance. On fourth down, it's it. It's incomplete, but wait a minute. Freddie Kiaho called for pass interference, Tom. Yeah, you can't bump once a guy gets more than five yards down the football, and that's real close right there. The referee saw it as interference. Power inside, 51 yards out. Josh Scobie, dooby doo. Do -do -do -do. He drilled it. Would have been good from 61 yards. So the Jags give up a late touchdown, but come back to beat Peyton Manning and the Colts. Jacksonville staves off that what history tells you is a devastating 0-3 start. And the Colts, they've yet to win in their new building. Two preseason losses, two regular season losses. That's a head-scratcher for Peyton Manning and company.